Hello, hello, good morning. How are you doing? I am back, baby. Um, let me know if you can hear me okay. I'm using a new microphone. And I want to make sure that you guys can hear me or that the music is not too loud. I'm still trying to figure out how all these controls work. So, I am going to be painting. I'm really excited about this. I'm painting an AT... AT is good. Okay, good. ATST Raider, um, as seen in The Mandalorian. Uh, thank you, thank you so much. And uh, yeah, I'm I'm pretty pumped. I haven't really like painted a vehicle this of this scale like for a while, so I'm I'm pretty excited about that. So let me um, switch here and let's just start with this, okay? I'm glad that you guys are here. I'm glad to see you. Uh, what are you guys doing today? Are you at work? Are you what, what's going on? Uh, I did get a new microphone, so I hope that you don't you're not hearing like the buzzing that you were um, hearing last time. So I'm gonna start with a little mix of Mephiston red and more from brown for the um, the it will be the left leg. And then I'm just gonna do just more from brown for the other leg. So So I'm going to do the lines right now. And I think instead of my big brush, I'm just going to use my smaller brush. Um, hmm, I painted a Chaos Knight. Yeah, it was pretty good model actually. I was, I love the weather and you did and the shield and stuff like that. Oh, that was pretty cool. Um, painting to scale and 8-bit. All right, let's go. I'm gonna be using some uh, off-white from Skull Color. I would love to tell you what the name of this bottle is, but I don't know. They should do something about this because the, the the name of it just like if you see this one, it's still you can see it some, you know. It's just Kalahari Orange SC14. This one gone. <laughs> It just faded after time after using it so much, but isn't like an off-white 
Uh, unless I can see another. The other name somewhere else? No, it's just there. So it's like an off white. Like this is, you can see the difference. This is white. Well, maybe. And this is like a more yellowish version of it. Like a warmer tint. So I'm going to be using that to make the markings on the legs. And I'm just going to just kind of like see where they go. I'm not really going to put a whole lot of painting here, but I wanted to see kind of where these go. So I'm going to go. Like that. Just to give me like a bit of a guide, right? Um, I'm gonna use it a little more, not so wet. I, I got too much water in there. Now I don't want my paint for this to be runny because it just it has to be kind of patchy and not perfect kind of chipped out and I, I will do chips and stuff on it so whoops I can't not take that call all right so now I just gonna go again over that and make it a little bit like thicker and Like that. Um, James says, don't let Hero Rush Hour see those large paintbrushes or they will redeem me as a paintbrush. <laughs> yeah, I don't have those. Uh, my channel. Uh, who knows? <laughs> Alright, I'm just gonna go like this. And like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect because this is just a model that it's been cannibalized from other parts of other walkers, so it's just not perfect. So I'm gonna do that. I think that's that looks super good. And I'm gonna add just a tiny bit more. There you go. Um yeah. I'm using my <laughs> my Lego model here for reference, so it looks a little bit too clean for me, but we still have to do all the weathering on it, so I'm not too worried about that. I should be okay. There you go. And now I'm going to go to the other side. I think this one has two markings or like the one really big one okay I'm gonna go like this oh my goodness this is so fun you guys <laughs> oh man I just love doing this type of work uh big brush <laughs> Oh man, let's see. There, using the big brush. And I need to do one more up here. There. I think I like that better. Actually, the big brush works better. <laughs> so thank you. Thank you, Dan. <laughs> shouldn't you be, shouldn't you be cl in class or something? <laughs> oh man, your fans just know way too much about you, Dan. Oh my goodness. That's funny. Actually, these worked out pretty good. I really like these markings better than the other ones I made earlier so thank you Dan okay let's just do it like that okay I like that yeah that's great 
Uh, for the gray that I'm using on the model, uh, I'm just gonna leave it with the Mechanicus and the gray primer. I thought about, you know, uh, giving it another tint, but since I'm gonna be using, you know, a lot of weatherings, it's just like, yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't have to look so, like, like this, like, perfect gray. It just has to look dirty, so let's just do it. Uh, oh, hey, hey, you know, have a great day, everyone. Have a great stream. Thank you so much. You too. Have an awesome day, Herbs. And thank you, or Herbs, <laughs> thank you so much for, for stopping by. Um, I'm really excited you got to be here for a bit. Okay, so here is my other piece. Um, I'm also, before my red dries, I'm just gonna use some of that red. And I'm gonna add some, probably some technical paint. I have some spirit stone red technical paint that I might use for the eyes. So, but I'm, I'm gonna put this base of red. See there? Next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna apply the shade and I'm gonna be using because I want to give it like a really like old beat up rusty look so I'm just gonna go with Agrax air shade for my choice um, if I can find it somewhere I'm gonna I'm going to mix it a bit with lime medium and then I'm gonna create some streaks of like oil and marks with the just the shade
see how this is looking I'll probably add just one more layer of just pure no not one oil no not that one that one some pure agrax to um, see where the gears are like right here right here here just trying to bring those <laughs> yeah that's the uh, the my calling me I guess came out came out. Oh my god from the office. Okay. I'm just gonna do a little bit of highlights on the gray. So let's just get we have Mechanicus on the gray. Let's just do a mix of the graphite gray and celestra gray. Celestra gray. And I'm also gonna do like some I'm gonna use some of these uh, dry paint micron compound just to work on the edges and like Make it look like the, this like metal, like the painting is just chipping and you can see like the metal underneath. I don't know. Let's see how it goes. Okay. We're just like having fun here. Um, And I'm back. That just took a bit. I just found it. He's just a brush and I'm just gonna just grab a bit and use it to add some interest to the model. There you go. That should work. So I'm gonna use brown. I'm gonna use black and I'm gonna use green. So let's see how it goes. And I'm gonna start with some. Yeah, let's do this. I'm gonna start with some typhus corrosion. Because I want to do the front before I go. So I'm just gonna focus on that right now. Um, I'll have 20 minutes. So. It's pretty cool. I'm just gonna grab a bit and then use my little sponge to sponge it about the miniature so just grab some and get the excess out <sighs> see that oh man <laughs> a bit much but okay it'll work just kind of like the areas that you think it will just like be you know like worn out the most i'll just go there
Castellan green. Let me just put it. I'm just gonna dab some of this um, to add, I don't know, a little bit of contrast with the colors. So some green and brown, you know, maybe some black. Oh, this needs mixing. Pat. So there. Yeah, I just love this tone. It's just such a muted green, kind of like a military green. So I'm um, <clears throat> going to dab my brush again. I'm not going to add water to it and just add a few, a few marks here and there. I'm gonna use the same color that I used earlier today uh, for my other markings which is this scale color off white that I do not know the name and I'm gonna use my reference picture for this I can't remember exactly how that looks so uh, let me see So, it's kind of like a, hmm, it's a really cool like tribal design. Just gonna kind of outline it. Oh, I mean, just, you know, oh, man. I'm a bit scared. Let's just get this thing off of here and um, I'm just gonna hold it with my hand. Let's see, what's a bit a good way to do this? It has like two lines converging and going all the way down. So I'm just gonna start here and here. Just marking where I want it to where I want it to go. Um and then I'm gonna go there and there. Maybe there. Just kind of marking like okay what where do i want this to go because then when you are painting like you just have sometimes you lose like direction of where you want it to go so that's kind of what i'm gonna do and just do that Like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect because these are just like tribal markings done with the raiders, by the raiders, so. They have to be perfect. Sorry, my hands are kind of shaky right now. All right. So we got that first few lines. You can barely see them, but I'll, I'll add more color as we go. Uh, second, we have these markings that go like to the, almost like the half of the, where the front plate is. So I'm just going to go like this. Um. Cause he's going to grab much needed coffee and a soda to have lunch back in a few. Oh, okay. Thank you. Hope you have a good lunch. There, those are my guidelines. And then on the side, we have something that goes kind of like from this dot right here to over here so I'm gonna go ahead and just do that it's good that you have both arms you know both arms like really like on you know leaning on something because you just want to have as much control 
and as you as you as you as you can. And if you just have your your arms in the air or one arm in the air, it's just gonna be a bit difficult to do that. Then the second line that I see, it goes like from the next dot that we have here down a bit. I'm just using like these little dots on the side. You see those? It's reference. That's what I, I'm saying. And then this one here. Same thing as the other. It goes down to here. You can see it a bit on the on the front. So I'm gonna go Try to match those as much as possible. Okay. And same thing, I just have like a one more little line here. Okay, just kind of giving me an idea of where I want like the design to be located at. I mean, exactly on the model. Um, and then there is like uh let's see it's like one of them that okay we just got to unite i mean just continue this this line a bit there the one that we did earlier and then it goes around like almost like up to here like that middle one you see like this dot right here i'm just putting like a tiny bit of white on the top of that one so I'm gonna just and that's a little bit like it goes like around this idea here so like that and like I said I'm just trying to see where the design goes I will we'll, you know make it look better so, and you want them to look as much asymmetrical as you can. So I'll do my little dots on the top, just so I know where I need to start. And then do the same thing. Whoops. So I think I had too much coffee, guys. <laughs> I think I had way too much coffee, you guys. Oh. Here, this is the the line. Okay, and then I see one more that it goes like up here on the top, like from here. Oops, I need my paint is not wet enough. It's like a little okay it's kind of like a backwards C and you're just trying to agree that like that And then one on the other side and i think that's pretty much the design so then i'll i'll just have to fill it in with more paint do my backwards c here like it doesn't the lowest part doesn't go all the way just like halfway of the longer one on the top okay so that's kind of i think that's pretty much the design of it now it's just a matter of like you know how you want your paint to to be and, and i'm gonna do it like you know like a figure lines um but I might have to uh, leave it here right now, guys, because I need to get going. <laughs> so I really appreciate you guys being here. Uh, on my stream tonight, 
uh, if anybody's interested. But this is, yeah, this is what I got so far. I think we did, you know, it was so clean and perfect, this thing. And now it's all worn and looking bad already. But I am really excited that I am back doing this. I had a lot of fun with everyone. Um, let me see my screen. I am happy that you're here and I will be streaming maybe tonight and also next week. I would love to hear what you guys are painting. You can follow me on Instagram and Twitter. And uh, uh, if you'd like to support the channel, uh, go to ko-fi.com. Uh, link is right there under the stream and under the camera. So I am really happy to be back and i hope you guys have a great day i'll see you later and you know i'll talk to you soon hope you hope you have a lot of fun painting your models and uh yeah if you need to know anything about any technique or any paintings any paints that i use today just don't hesitate to send me a dm on instagram or twitter and uh, i will reply to you within a day or two and anyway Anyway, that's it for me. Hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.